regional climate scenarios. How Northwest 2050 knows what the climate will be in 40 years. For over 100 years now, people have been collecting and documenting weather data on a regular basis worldwide. From these long-term records, we know that today it's warmer as a global average than it was at the beginning of the 20th century. But this measurable climate change is not just a global phenomenon. Even our regional climate, that is the typical course of our local weather over a long period, has also changed. How will this trend continue? What should we expect here in the northwest region of Germany? The project Northwest 2050 researches how climate change will affect the metropolitan region bremen oldenburg in particular and how we can adapt to the foreseeable consequences. For this, we have to know how the climate will develop in future. <laughs> in projecting the future climate, climate models play an important role. Climate models aim to represent as accurately as possible the complex climate system of our Earth with all its influencing parameters and interactions. There are about 20 different global models simulating the entire climate system of the Earth. To predict the climate within a certain region, we need to use regional models. These are based on the global models, but are able to compute the climate of individual regions with greater accuracy, because they use a much finer resolution than the global models. The scientists in Germany are currently working with four different regional models. Climate models are computer programs. They can only be as good as our knowledge of the climate system itself. And even with a great deal of research, we will not be able to close the largest gaps of this knowledge. We cannot determine with any certainty how the emission of greenhouse gases will change because it depends on our own future actions. How will the world's population, the standard of living and the global economy all develop? What are the resulting energy requirements and how will they be met? What technological developments may be expected and how will they affect us? To allow us to make prognoses on tomorrow's climate despite all this complexity, various scenarios have been developed to show what the world might look like in future. Each scenario leads to a different quantity of greenhouse gases. For this reason, they are also called emissions scenarios. They are fed into a climate model, which then calculates the corresponding climate projections. Depending on the scenario and the climate model, a number of different climate projections are then obtained. The individual projections for temperature, precipitation, rise in sea level, etc. are then grouped together in climate scenarios. So, if you were hoping that we would put an exact weather report for the year 2050 out of a hat, sorry, we have to disappoint you. Instead, we will always have to deal with certain ranges that show what changes are possible in the typical development of the weather on the basis of the emission scenarios. Just which scenario will actually arise also cannot be predicted, but this approach will enable us to be prepared for all of them. <laughs>